Hi friends, welcome to Opera Studies YouTube channel. This is part 45 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about math in Python. That means uh, how to perform mathematical operations in Python. Uh, there are some built-in functions available to perform math and also there is a math module itself. From my previous videos, you already know what is module, right? So if you haven't watched my previous videos in the Python playlist, please try to watch all the videos from the starting to end in a sequence order. So module is nothing but like a think like a one Python file that means a .py extension file that will contain functions, some variables or some classes. So all the functions, classes, variables, whatever you created inside that Python file that is called a module. Once you import that module into your code, we can directly consume them in our code, right? You know this from my previous videos. If you are not sure, please watch my previous videos. So now let's try to understand how we can perform math in Python. So Python has some set of built-in functions to perform this math uh, and also Python will uh, has a uh, mathematical module as well. Even you can use that module also to perform your mathematical operations. So let's try to understand few built-in functions. For example, here if you see there is something called min function, max function. This will give minimum number from the list of the numbers whatever you pass. Max will give the maximum number. ABS, this is like absolute number. If you pass negative value, it will give it will return you a positive value. Power, this is actually like a power of power. So four power of three, whatever the output that will return it here. So all these are like a built-in functions. So not only this, there are uh, uh, additional functions also which will available as part of the math module. So again, since you have to refer a module, so you need to import that module and use it. So let's practically understand this. Let me go to Visual Studio Code here, and here. Let me try to remove. So this is like demo.python file. So in this file, uh, let's try to uh, uh, run the same code. Let's try to use this min function, max function, and absolute function and power function to see whether they will actually work or not. If you are seeing my code here, I'm not importing any module. So to import module, we will use like this, right? Import then space module name, right? So I'm not importing anything. So that means whatever I try to use here now, that is like a built-in function in the Python. So now what I said is this minimum function, right? See, when I say min, intelligence shows that. So this min one, min function will take the arguments as a values. For example, if I pass 4, 1, 3, 7, 8. So whatever the values I passed here, from these values, what is the minimum value? That is what it will return. So let me take that what, whatever the value is coming out of this minimum function into this x variable. And then below, let's simply try to print this value of x here. So let's save these changes. And then let's execute this code and see, see it is returning minimum value 1, right? So how that magic is happening because of this min function, which is mathematically understanding the value of each number here and then trying to pick minimum number here. Similarly, you can use max function also. So this max function can understand uh, the value of the each number here and it can bring you back the maximum number. So in this case, 9 should be written, right? So let me save these changes here. Now let me run this code. So it will return 9, okay? And uh, I, as I said, there is something called absolute function as well. Absolute means uh, ABC. So let me try to use that absolute function also here. So ABS, right? So ABS is absolute function. To this absolute function, so here let's pass a negative number, maybe like 7.18. And now let's try to save these changes. And then if I execute this code, it is going to return a positive number, right? And similarly, as I said, there is another function called power, right? So this is going to get a power of, so 2 power of 3. So whatever the output it will get you. So let me save these changes here. See, it will return 8. That means 2 multiplied by 3 times. 2 into 2 into 2. So 8, right? So all these are like a inbuilt functions. So similarly, uh, uh, what if, if I want to perform, the, uh, uh, if I want to make use of the mathematical module to do the task, even you can do that. So there is something called this math module. You need to import that module. Once you import that module, you can make use of the uh, functions inside that module to do your mathematical operations. For example, here I am listing few of the functions which are used available inside this math module. For example, this is square root function, they, it will help you to get a square root of it. Then ceiling will give the uh, upper limit of these numbers. That means 1.4 means the next upper limit is 2 and uh, floor will give the lower limit. So, so 1.4 means 1 it will return, right? So let me practically show you this. And, and also this math module contains some mathematical constants as well. For example, pi is a constant value, right? So whatever the constant value of the pi that will be returning back and storing into this variable. So all these uh, uh, constant values and functions are available inside this math, math module. So we need to make sure to import this module and use it. So let me practically show you that. Let me go here. So to import any module, I should use this import keyword 
and then use the module name if you see here the intelligence if you see see it has this uh, symbol right open bracket and close bracket flower brackets right so this is like a module so once you import any module uh, if you want to call any function or any element from that particular module so what you need to do use that module name then dot see all the functions and constants whatever available inside that particular module it is listing it here so as i said let's try to understand this square root function so to the square root function i am passing value 64 and then returning this value back into x variable and then let's try to print the x value whether we are able to perform the square root correctly or not so let me clear this let me execute this demo file see 8 is the square root of 64 right currently it is coming so not only that let's try to use this seal function and floor function as well so in the math module so seal function to the seal function i am passing 1.4 okay and uh, if i save these changes and if i run it so upper limit is 2 so it will return that if i use floor function so be lower lower limit right so before 1.1 1 .1, what is the whole number right that, that means 1 so let me save this and if i run this it will return 1 so and also uh, let's try to use this pi constant and see whether we are able to get the constant pi value or not so from the math function so there is a property called pi so let me use that p c pi is a variable right so let me use this and let me save these changes and now let me run this code see 3.141 right this is the pi value right constant pi value so all this is available inside this module okay so uh, if you want to know for if details about all other functions whatever available inside this math module then go to this w3 skill websites uh, where they have a beautiful reference document for this particular math module so i have already opened that so let me uh, go to my browser so if you see here uh, if i if i open that same url so this is like a reference to the math module and if you see here every function whatever is available inside the math module has a detailed description here so you can go through this detailed description of every function if you want to try anything uh, you can try the same way as just know how i tried uh, square root function ceiling function pi constant and everything right so you can try all this so i am giving this to up to you guys so do it as a homework uh, when you are practicing this uh, math module and uh, this document also gives the constants whatever available inside the math module right so pi pi will be written in 3.14 and if you use e this is going to be written 2.71 right so all this is clearly documented here so i will encourage you to go through here so let's go to presentation i think that's it in this video guys Thank you for watching. I hope you understood uh, how to perform mathematical operations in the Python using built-in functions and as well as the using the math math module. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.